Hey everyone, it's Scott with YouGetRipped.com. I'm just going to shoot this quick video for you to show you what I'm doing uh, in my home gym here in my basement uh, for chest and tries. And I'm going to show you that it's pretty simple. Uh, again, I just want to emphasize that, you know, it doesn't really matter. Um, well, I shouldn't say that. It does matter, but it doesn't really come down to all of the different exercises that you can do to get results. It's really about consistency. And you really want to be obviously hitting the exercises that are going to target the muscles. Like I'm going to do today, I'm going to do a flat bench. I'm going to do an incline bench. I'm going to do a decline bench. And then I'm going to turn around and do my tries uh, with some pull down exercises. But what I'm saying is, is, you know, if you do that consistently over and over again, you're going to get results. It's when you, you know, do it once and then you say, well, there's got to be another way. There's got to be something else I can do that, you know, I'm all for mixing it up, but give it some time. You know, with something like this, if you're going to go with certain exercises, go for four weeks, then switch it up. All right. But consistency is going to always uh, do better than inconsistency. And that means, you know, staying on a regimen that you can do over and over again. So with that being said, I'm going to show you a quick set of the flat bench. Again, I want to throw out there, leave your egos you know, out of this. Um, if you're younger, um, like I was, uh, you know, 19 once too, and you know, you want to go in there and throw some weights around. But at my age right now, and as you get older, it doesn't really matter. Uh, it matters about your results. And you can still get results without having to kill yourself with a ton of weight. Um, obviously, you want to push your muscle, but you also want to, you know, be able to handle it and not kill your joints. So, with that being said, let me get on the flat bench here real quick, show you a quick set. I'm going to do technically four sets of this, a warm-up set, and then I'm going to go into a set of 12, a set of 10, and then a set of between 6 and 8. And that will be basically four sets, including the warm-up. And then when I go to inclines, we're going to go ahead and do three of those. So let's get going. Biggest thing is you want to control it. Coming down. Now, I probably could have did more. I probably could have did three or four, maybe even five more. I'm not going to failure on this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go around now and I'm going to add more weight to this. About a minute, minute and a half rest. Then I'm going to jump right back into it, do another set, okay? Same thing, I'm going to try to get 10. From there, I'm going to turn around, add more weight, and then I'm going to come back try to do six to eight. That's how I want to do it. You're going to notice that, if, yes, if you rest three, four, five minutes in between, you're going to be able to do more. Um, and you might be able to do heavier weight. But this, you're keeping the muscle under strain, under pressure, and you're, you're allowing it to continue to break down because it hasn't had time to recover. So that's what we want to do there. So i got to stop talking. i got to go switch the weight. Okay, so what we're going to do now, we're going to do the incline. Now, if you notice, I did a video before on this particular bench. I modified this bench. The incline for this bench that they have for this position is right here. And, oops, I'm on the frame. Um, it's, it's just too high for me. It hurts my uh, shoulder, so I've made another adjustment here. And that's where I like it, and it gives me a nice incline, but, yeah, it doesn't hurt my shoulder. So I'm going to try to get uh, 12 of these right now, 10 to 12. See, I just did flat bench. I did four sets of that. So that's what I'm going to do. Use a weight that you can handle. Don't let your ego get in the way. And uh, let's see what we can do. I'm going to always, again, come down and explode up. Negatives down. Right above your chest.
One more. I see that. That's a pretty lightweight. But yet, seeing that I already did a flat bench, my chest is already kind of spent. I got 12, but barely. So, that's good. My next uh, set, I'm probably going to just either leave that and try to get 10, or I might go up maybe 10 pounds. I think in this case, I'm going to try to do this 10 times. And then I'll probably on my last set go up another 10 pounds. Again, don't go by what you think it needs to be. Go by what your body's telling you it should be. You just want to be able on those last couple to give you a little bit of a struggle. This one here was a little borderline. Might have been able to go down a little bit even more. Um, but again, when you let yourself come down slower and then up, it's going to also make it harder on your muscle. It's going to get tired quicker. So that's what you want to do. All right, so here's what we're going to do next. We're going to do decline. But what I got to mention here is on the decline, I'm not using the straight bar. And the reason is, is because my two stanchions that go along the side don't go down low enough. Also, I like uh, the way that the, the exercise feels with the dumbbells. I have more range of motion and I usually feel stronger. So I'm going to go with a decline on the, uh, on the floor here on the bench, but I'm going to use the dumbbells. So when we use the dumbbells, um, obviously, again, you want to concentrate on really coming down and isolating the inner and the lower chest. All right, so really squeeze it on the way up. And what I do is I lock my legs here on the bottom. I grab my weights together like this, and then I just kind of roll backwards and get yourself down and then right to your chest, bring it up and pinch it at the top, right in the inner chest. Slow, explode up. Slow, and explode. Slow down, love the drop. and that's it. That's what you want to do. Nice and easy. Again, leave the ego out of this. If you restrict your negative, especially coming back down to control that, you're going to put more tension and more resistance on the muscle. All right, so now what I'm going to do is try extensions, basically try pull downs right here. And just remember, when you're coming up, you want to basically come up to about here and then come down and pinch down at the end, squeeze at the end. That's where all of it's happening, right there at the end, hold it, and then again, slow on the negative and back down, all right? So that's what I'm gonna do here. Just bring it down, just like that, and then up, slow, and then back down. Trying to keep your head up over top of your hands. So here, and down, just like that. Try to do 12 of these. I lost track. I think I was six. One more. Squeeze it at the bottom, track, slow, and that's it. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to do the rope, okay? And this is basically two pieces of, or one piece of rope with two ends onto it, so you can hold your hand, but you can also spread yourself out like this. So when I come down in here, then I bring it out, and that works a different part of the tricep. So I'm going to do a lighter weight too, by the way, on this, because you want it really controlled, and it's, it's harder because at the end, you're bringing it out versus just bringing it down. So here we go. Get yourself kind of bent over a little bit. Bring it down and out. 
take this. Again, same thing, bring it up and down. I bring it up a little bit higher, like to here, and then down and out. Again, try to do 12 in your first set, controlling it. Try to hold the last one if you can. That's where you're really feeling that burn because you got to remember you're working back part of the, the tricep now versus this side here. So it's more of the back. And remember, if you're trying to build a bigger arm, I don't have that big arms. I want bigger arms, but I don't have that big arms. But the back half of your arm is your tricep. So you really should concentrate on working your tricep just as much as your bicep. So you want to work that muscle, and that's why you're working on the inner and the outer. And this one here, I'll tell you, I just started doing this. This rope was like 20 bucks, maybe, at one of the fitness stores. But don't fall into the trap of increasing your weight because your ego gets in the way, and then you just want to come up here and go, ah, oh, ah, and you're getting all this, this, that's not doing anything for you. If anything, you're going to hurt yourself. Keep yourself locked in, down and out, just like that. So you're here and just squeeze it right there. When you squeeze and control, you're going to feel the burn. That's why I like working out at home because I don't have to worry about, you know, other people. Number one, you might feel self-conscious because you're only using 40 pounds and the next guy's using 80 pounds. Who really cares? In the end, if your muscle is breaking down, repairing over time, consistency, it will get bigger and it will get stronger. So try to remember that, all right? So anyway, this is going to wrap up my workout. That's exactly what I did. I did a flat bench, four sets, including the warm-up. Then I did uh, incline bench, three sets. Then I did decline, uh, dumbbell decline, and that was three sets. And uh, then what I ended up doing was coming on over here, doing the tricep pull-downs, and then I did the rope tricep pull-downs with the flare at the end. All right? So I hope this video has helped you. Trying to get the light here. The light's like way off. My eyes all dark and stuff. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, you guys seen what I did. But anyway, if you uh, have any questions or anything, leave a comment down below. Try to answer it for you. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please do so. Um, you can watch us grow. We can watch you grow. We can help you. You can help us. Um, again, this is just about trying to find like-minded people that are into it, like me and my buddy Jim, uh, who actually lives in Arizona and I live in New York. So we're kind of like workout buddies, but from you know three, four thousand miles away. Way. So anyway, we'd love to connect with you too. So if you want, subscribe to the channel. You'll get more videos like this or maybe a question that someone asked that we answer on a video. Uh, or maybe you have a tip that we can share that maybe we can try. I'm all for learning more new stuff. All right. So that's it. This is Scott with YouGetRipped.com. I'll talk to you later. Now you get ripped.